cost of living, health care, weather, American dollar, 8.5% on CDs, 9.5%, 10% on CDs, food, things to do, places to go, people to see, real estate prices, other expats, friendly people, talking about locals. A little over a year ago, I did a video about why I picked Ecuador. So this time for part two, right after this. Hey. Hello there. This video that I did a year ago is the most popular video in all my lineup. I don't have, I think if you go and look why I picked Ecuador, I had 44,893 views. That's a lot of views for over the period of a year. Usually my videos get anywhere from a thousand views to maybe 5,000 views, you know, but average I think they're around 2,000 views. So this one's 44,893. Lots of people throughout the world want to know why people want to live in Ecuador and I'll be damned if I can tell you why I want to live here. This is part two. It's a lot of things have changed. I can tell you why I don't want to live here, okay? It's not because it's a bad place. Don't get me wrong. I know I can hear it now. Don't leave it next door. Oh my God, Don, 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 come back. Don's leaving it. No, no, don't say that, okay? If I do leave Ecuador, I'll probably be back. Who knows? I don't know what, you know? But there are a lot of things that have changed since I came here. A lot of the reasons that I gave, the cost of living, that's a good one to start. Here is an example. I'll show you this. Here's the spreadsheet from my budget from last month. Now, there are some things that I'm not showing here because it's discretionary spending. That's not normally part of my budget. So I'm not, I'm not going to include those. But uh, some charity stuff that I did, you know, it's, that it's not part of, it's not a monthly thing, okay? But prices have gone up here since I've been here. Inflation has gone up. But so have CDs, so have the interest on CDs. Interest on loans have gone up. Everything's gone up, gasoline's gone up. It's not like it is in the United States. Don't get me wrong, I'm not even comparing to the United States. But yeah, things have gone up. The price of rentals, prices have gone up. So, you know, it, that's, it's just a given, you know, you know that that's gonna happen anyway. If, if I, I probably should just do a separate video about a budget video about last October or last August compared to this August and see what the big differences are. Maybe I'll do that. Healthcare. Healthcare hasn't really changed much. Healthcare is still great here. I mean, I have a friend that just came here and had a procedure done here that he could have had done in the States. He got it done here for 400 bucks in the States. I don't think that would have even covered his copay. I don't, I'm not sure. You know, healthcare is awesome here. We could have, I could do a whole separate video about healthcare where you should have private insurance or the government insurance, I-E-S-S. Some people call it E-S. I-E-S-S is the way it's spelled out. Okay? No real changes. The weather, the weather's really sucked this year. Okay? Because of El Nino. Everybody's heard about El Nino. Everybody's heard about La Nina in the States or North America. Here, we've been suffering from El Nino. It's been a real bitch this year because it's been warm. My electric bill can testify to that. My electric bill in January was $27. Last month, it was $135. So, uh, well, no, the highest it's been so far this year is $135. Last month, it was $70 or $80. It's less, but it's a lot more than what I'm used to paying because it's been warm. My air conditioner has been running nonstop. Maybe if I just get off my ass and get out of this apartment, then we wouldn't have that problem. Anyway, the weather normally, the weather still is, you know, we're here at the center of the globe. We're on the equator. The weather is temperate. It's, we have humidity here in Monta. Up in the Andes, it's a lot cooler. It's drier. It's nice, rainier. But, you know, can't, what can I say about Ecuador weather? Really, aside from the fact that we've had this once in 40 year event called El Nino, the weather here is perfect, okay? American dollar, yeah, we still had the American dollar here. Nothing's changed in that regard. 
eight and a half percent interest on CDs. My CDs are maturing that I have in sitting at Jet Cooperative right now. My CDs are earning eight and a half percent. I'm going to roll it over at the December first for nine and a quarter percent. Nine and a quarter percent. Show me where you get that in the states. Even if I have to, even if I bail out and send my money back home, and I have to pay an exit fee. I still make money on my my money here, okay? And I don't have to pay taxes on it because it doesn't even. I don't make enough to even match my personal deduction. So I'm in good shape. Food, food is still the same. Food is great here, folks. When you come to Ecuador and learn how to cook Ecuadorian food, if you do like a lot of dumbass gringos and you head down to to uh, restaurant row where you pay gringo prices for food, you can enjoy the same food at home, the same food for a fraction of the cost. Food is very affordable here. It's plentiful. There's lots of organic food here. I've really learned to, to like a lot of fish and eat lots of chicken, and I'm learning how to cook a lot of stuff at home, and my food budget shows it too. Things to do, places to go, people to see. As I mentioned the other day, I finally got out of here and went and saw a Yompi. I have a video on it that I'm working on. I, it was going to be my next video, but it's actually, this is my next video. I have some more work to do on the Yompi video. That's a good place to go. If you come to Monta and you want to explore places on the coast to go for the weekend, a Yompi is really cool, man. It's really, really cool. They got some great restaurants and bars and it's quiet. They play cafe music in them. None of this head banging electronic boom, 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 boom music that you get forced to hear here in this town, here in Monta. Down there is peaceful, it's tranquil, tranquil, and good food. The great lodge that we stayed at, it'll be just watch for the video. All right, I'll give you all the details. Real estate prices have gone up. Okay, real estate prices have gone up and inventory has gone down. For those of you that want to come here and find that $500 a month apartment on the ocean, ha, you can forget it. You're not going to find it. Okay, not going to happen. Talk to Stella Coulter. She has, she has some apartments for rent and some places to rent. But, folks, the prices aren't what they were a year ago. Everything has gone up in regards to real estate. They're building new properties here. You've got two buildings right down here. Another one's going to be over, over here. Supply and demand economics. Okay, it's simple as that. Other expats. The worst part about coming to Ecuador and living in a town like Monta is you're going to meet some real asshole expats. You just can't get rid of them. We can't get them out of here. They're here, folks. They're going to be here just like they are in the United States. The United States, that way. Sorry, I was pointing to Africa. But anyway, yeah, ex <laughs> can't do anything about it. There are some expats that bring their problems with them here, and they want to share them with you, okay? You people, go home. Or better yet, Get a little tiny rowboat and heck, go out about 100 miles out in the ocean and have a party, okay? Other expats. There are some great expats here. You're looking at one of them. But then there's some great expats to be friends with here, both men and women. But God Almighty, there's some that come here that don't deserve to be here, and I wish you'd just go the hell back home. That's how I feel about it. Friendly people, locals. The, the, the nicest people you're going to meet in Ecuador are going to be the Ecuadorians. I can't say much more about it. There are some Ecuadorians here. There's a there's a class of Ecuadorians, especially here in Monta, that some of you may not like. Okay, I'm not saying they're all bad, but I'm just saying there are some that you may not like. They I don't know if they just got a beef against foreigners coming into their town, but all in all. When you walk into the mall or you walk down the street and you say hola, you're going to get a response. You're going to get a hello. Buenos dias. Everybody speaks up. Okay? Everybody. It's one thing I love about this place. I, I'm standing in the hospital hallway waiting for 
my friend Mark to get through some testing stuff. And everybody that walks by speaks. Takes some getting used to. Because, you know, in the States, people don't do that. They're just not that friendly. But anyway, <clears throat> that's it. I can... I, I want to go back on to the topic of, of me maybe leaving Ecuador. I, I'm still young, folks. I'm 71 years old, and I didn't come to Ecuador to spend the rest of my life here. I want to go see other parts of South America, and I got my sights set on Uruguay and Argentina. I'm starting to lean more toward Argentina because I don't like the cost of living in Uruguay. It's, it's not proven to be very efficient for me. It doesn't really fit my budget. I can afford it, but I'll be living from check to check. Real, real estate is outrageous there. But Argentina is really starting to look really good. And I'm looking at Buenos Aires, and I'm looking at Mendoza. So um, we'll, we'll talk more about that later. But please, folks, don't, don't, don't get in a big rash and say, oh, Don's leaving Ecuador. Don doesn't like Ecuador. It's just that there's things here that's just not for me, okay? It's just not for me. It may, things that bother me here may not phase you at all, okay? So please keep that in mind. you got to keep an open mind about all this. Okay, if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.